Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Solo the Dead Path by Silver1906. Difficulty hard. Uh, not too sure about that, but I guess we'll find out. Hello! Due to unforeseen circumstances, a possibly apocalyptic event has taken place on designated planet Earth. However, due to protocol, testing must continue. Please be careful of certain testing apparatus that may have merged with one another during the fall of civilization. Not sure about merged testing apparatus, what? Hmm. Looks like you may need to update B-Mod or something. Not sure about that. Hello, camera. Let's get you someplace safe. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome! And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Why is there so much space below that dialogue? Strange. Hmm. Well, we got plenty of portal surfaces all around the place. I'm sure we can make something happen here. Interesting. Not sure what we'd want to do that for. Hey, look, a colorized cube! Oh, two colorized cubes! I didn't even notice. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, <laughs> any observations related to your performance are speculation uh, on my part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. I didn't know... I didn't know that Team Spin had set that up to be that way. <laughs> we got a sassy announcer. Right, well, we've got two cubes now. Honestly, not entirely sure what the cubes are for. But, uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Yeah, yeah, sure. So one thing you might want to do is consider turning off the voice lines, because they can get rather annoying, especially in the GLaDOS themes and all that. Uh, the voice lines just tend to be rather obnoxious, and I forgot to take this cube with me, but whatever. I'm still tired from the live stream. Hard maps. Hard maps in the live stream on Friday. <laughs> Very hard maps. Alright, so we've done that. I suppose now we can poke our nose into there and see what's in there, right? So far, not so hard. You want me to launch that there, like, with the base plate? Are you serious? Uh, I guess you're serious. That's not exactly what I would consider a puzzle, to be honest. Oops. That's, uh... There we go, I think it's that one, right? Let's try that again. There we go. What do you know? Not exactly sure why that was necessary, but sure, it's a thing we've done. So now we just take the cube... ...and bring it to us, I believe. There we go. There's that problem solved. I'm not sure what this downward lower area here is for. Seems kinda pointless. Honestly, the whole design of this area is kinda weird. Well anyway, let's continue on into the next puzzle. Interesting. This button has no signage, so I guess it's pointless. There's a cube over there. Not sure why the windows are like that. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's not possible to proceed, because that button has no signage, therefore it's not connected to anything, and there's no reason to press it. And, uh, I don't see a way to turn this off. And shooting portals is not gonna do any good. So, yeah, we're just stuck. Cannot proceed. There needs to be signage for that. There needs to be signage for that. Come on, let me shoot a portal please, thank you. Another button with no signage. Hmm. Wait, what's the point of that? Why though? I mean, like, that, that seems rather unnecessary for multiple reasons. Because I could have done that without even clearing my portals. What does this do? I guess it does that. Yeah, I still need signage for that. 
What does this do? Half of that. Okay. That's rather alarming in my opinion. Also, how are you supposed to do that without killing yourself? That's different. Slightly. Let's go over here and see what happens more over on this side of the world. Okay. What does this do for us? Is that the light bridge? Why is it on a timer, though? Like, that doesn't make the map challenging, that just makes it annoying. If I have to... Do this all within a time limit. Alright, let's see here. Uh, actually, I want to be over there. Alright, put this guy over here. And we need to do this quickly, I believe. There we go. There we go. Was that all I needed to do? Okay, not sure... Not sure why it was all... like this. Kinda strange map design, in my opinion. Huh. Right, well, on to the next puzzle, I guess. What's going on in here? What was the point of that? I mean, it's not on a timer, so I might- it might as well just be pressed from the- Wait, it is on a timer? Why doesn't it have timer signage, then? You gotta have timer signage for that stuff. Alright, well, I guess once we go in, there's no going back without using that, or whatever. Yeah, when that button deactivates, it turns the laser field on. Gotcha. Ooh, a black cube. What do we have over here and why do I want to do it? No idea. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm thoroughly confused. Looks like we just want to get that cube, right? The best way to do that would be... what exactly? What is this? What are these buttons for? This button says moon. What does moon do? I don't actually know. I didn't see where moon was, to be honest. Is it an exit requirement? No. Exit requirements are dot and X. Also, why is this... submerged? Like, you could just put it in the wall instead of on the floor where people could walk into it. Huh. Oh, there's a button up there! Why, though? Okay, well, let's, let's consider that our first task, since that seems at least marginally doable. So put this cube there... And, uh... Walk up here and press the button, I suppose. Wait, what activated that flip panel? Was it that? It wasn't exactly made clear to me. Come on. There we go. I could just jump here, though. What was the point of that? Okay. Strange. Not really... not really sure I understand what I'm doing, to be honest. Let's go check out the other side, though. What's over here? So these are our exit requirements, we don't need to worry about that just yet. So we only want that, right? 
Those light strips specifically block us from putting a light bridge there. What does Moon do? Oh, Moon is the funnel! Okay. How does it help us, though? I hope it's a reverse funnel, because if it's not, then I am out of ideas. Oops. Well, that doesn't matter too much, in the grand scheme of things. Excuse me, please. Alright, let's put that there, and there. How about that? Uh, oh, actually, we have to go over here first. Yeah, let's do this first. Put the cube on the button first. Let's go see if we can figure out what kind of funnel it is. Oh, it's not a reverse funnel, then. Huh. So how are we supposed to get the cube to us, then? I don't see... I don't really see a good way to do that. Well, how did I do that? <laughs> can I not walk back right... I can walk back behind there, but... Wow, th what is with this... What am I stuck on? There's, like, some weird collision going on here. Something about that is not quite right, honestly. I think it has the same collision as if it was the diagonal. But what am I supposed to use this for? Just pushing the cube to one side or the other is not gonna do any good for me, honestly. Yeah, how does that help? There's not a way to reverse the funnel, is there? Uh... Mm, kinda got stuck there. I'm not seeing any signage for reversing the funnel, honestly. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Um. Oh, I think I see. So if we do that, yeah, there we go. There we go, that works. So we have this cube now, at least. So I guess now we just need to put the cubes where they need to go? That'd be my guess. So let's go get this one again. Right, so now... I believe... It's just a simple matter... Simple matter... of putting a portal... on that surface. If I can. Alright, this is proving to be a little bit difficult, because of the diagonal nature of the surface. Or my portal shot. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Oops. There we go. And then... the other side. Which is pretty straightforward. Are you kidding me? You fell off in that short time span? Give me this. What, I mean, what even happened there? It's fallen through the grating! Look at that! Doesn't fall through there. Doesn't fall through there. But it falls through there. Look at that. Stupid buggy game. That's that's Valve's fault. That's not the map maker's fault. That's just that's just Valve being lazy. Alright, let's put that there. Uh, get on there, please, thank you. Right. So now do this. And we're out of here. Overall, I would rate this as easy, not... not hard. Yeah, this is definitely not hard. This is what I would call easy. This is an easy puzzle. And, uh, as for feedback... I uh, pretty much disliked most of the map, because of the confusing design, and unnecessary timer buttons and all that. But, uh, yeah, I would recommend checking out Rectorox's guide, and the way you can do that is you can go to on the Guides tab and search for... Uh, Rector... Rocks. Like that. And it's this one right here, Rector's Guide to Making Better Maps. And you can read up on it, and then there's also Demon Arisen's map series on YouTube, which I will link in the description. Anyway, that is it for this video, so, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!